produced by Eddie Garcia. Front range here. Morning guys, Al here. So as you probably noticed, my background is still the same. I definitely like the, the background there. I'm still at work just because I am actually on my break right now and I gotta make this video real quick because I'm hungry, I gotta eat. Um, but having a nice little white plain background compared to all that junk behind, I feel like I have a little bit more credibility. You probably also noticed my dress attire. I feel like this is a little bit more professional too because I am not looking like I am a douchebag with all my tight clothing. Not that I, that those, in my defense, my clothing wasn't that tight. It's just that I, those, that's old clothing that I grew into. Um, I used, like I said, I, I've always been saying on people's comments that I, you know, I started off as 100 pounds soaking wet and now kind of doubled up my weight. So definitely your, your mediums will start to become a little bit uh, extra medium, if you know what I mean. But anyways, building upon my last video, um, it's good, the joint by joint approach. Um, the tip of the day is how to incorporate that. And basically we're gonna incorporate it by, um, by showing you an example of, again, what my friend was having a problem with. He said that he has tight hamstrings. And the thing is, we tested his ha hamstrings. We, we gave it a couple of tests. Uh, we had him lie down, stretch it up, and, and see what, what the length is. He had pretty good range. Um, the thing, though, that he keeps complaining about is the tight hamstrings. It's really his pelvis. His pelvis, um, he has this Donald Duck posture is what I call it. He, Donald Duck is a great character, but has horrible posture, at least for a human. I don't know about ducks. I, I'm, I don't know anything about ducks, to be honest, except that they, they taste okay. But anyways, uh, Donald Duck posture, you're basically, if, uh, I'm going to pull my shirt just so you can see it. It's where people kind of have that little ghetto booty, but it's not really coming from the booty. It's really that um, your pelvis is tilted forward. And what that's going to do is going to pull um, on that hamstring and it's going to lengthen that hamstring and it's going to sit in that lengthen stretch position and now you can't even get more of that stretch position, uh, you can't get more of that range in your hamstring because of your, your tight hip flexors are probably what's going to be causing it too. Your hip flexors are usually tight. People, it's pretty common for people that sit down a lot watching YouTube videos and stuff like that and not stretching their hip flexors or, or making sure that they're not doing um, anything to counterbalance that um, hip flexor tightness. So make sure you stretch out that hip flexor in order to make that pelvis a little bit more neutral in order to get that hamstring a little bit more optimal. Alright guys, day 10 of Shaco and requires me a squat and bench. So I was noticing in my squat that my knees are caving in a little bit. But, you know, in my defense, I tend to be a little bit knock kneed or I have valgus knees. My knees cave in inwards and it's exact opposite of people that are bow-legged. I was trying to find some research to find what's the best optimal way for someone with valgus knees to squat. I couldn't find anything, so if you guys know anything, definitely let me know. So now moving on to the bench press, um, this wasn't particularly a hard bench press day but I think I rushed my warm up and I wasn't even really um, focusing on lifting weights that day just because it was my, my son's birthday, he was turning 3 and I really rushed it and actually my nose started bleeding. I don't know if um, my lack of warm up caused that or I was stressing out too much or uh, pushing too hard um, and not focusing correctly. I don't know, but uh, let me know if you guys also ever experiencing experience uh, bloody noses through benching. Hopefully my wife's not watching this because she hates when uh, my nose bleeds or anyone else's nose bleeds while lifting weight. She thinks it's pretty barbaric. But anyways, thanks again for watching guys. Make sure you train hard, but train smarter.